What you do now matters. You carry things from generation to generation. And are you going to carry a curse or are you going to carry a blessing? And that's y'all. I am back with another video, bro. I'm actually in Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, man. So I got a good video. As you can see, I'm in a different place, you know what I'm saying? But I got a good video for you guys. I need to put y'all up on game, bro. Like, just seeing things. It's different when you see things in, in action or you see things in close or, you you know what I'm saying, you see people going to the ATM and who's helping them go to the ATM. You know what I'm saying? Who's supportive, who likes it, who doesn't. You see the age groups. You see all that. So I really want to tell you guys, uh, this is not only in Vegas. This is, like, for all you guys. This is for my supporters, everybody. I want y'all guys to understand that she doesn't want a loser she wants a winner bro like when i tell you this and this is important for body game this is definitely keeping the conversation going because you gotta have a sharp being out here you gotta have a sharp mind but just in general just every day for you to get here for you even be in this environment you have to have a sharp mind and what i want to tell you guys how you have a sharp mind is understanding what she wants how you're looked at amongst the group amongst other people and then also how you fit into society and your last name matters what you do now matters you carry things from generation to generation and are you going to carry a curse or are you going to carry a blessing and that's what i want you guys to understand because i think this gets pushed under the rug when you deal with body game i think this gets pushed under the rug when you deal with archetypes of men i think this just is not talked about enough because people are just only looking for money they're either looking for looks, they're looking for status, but people aren't talking about legacy, like how you are being viewed, how you're being portrayed, and what will be documented when you're no longer here. So this is what this video is going to do. This is what I'm going to talk about. And it's basically saying that you have to understand what you do on a daily basis is going to be a sum of what you are. And people are only going to care about where they meet you at when they meet you. So however you are whenever you meet that person wherever you meet that person you like wherever you meet that friend wherever you meet that colleague wherever you meet this that whatever person they don't care what you've been through before they care about where you are now and it's so shallow but this is like human behavior every person you have to understand that they're judging you and they're looking at you to see what you are doing what you're completing that's why you have people ask you what do you do for work that you have people ask you okay what do you what are you working on now they can they ask you for like accolades, what you achieved, everything like that, because you have to understand that people meeting you, they don't know. They're going off of basically a perception. So they have to kind of talk to you to either change your perception to make it better or to make it worse. So that's what I want you guys to understand, man. A lot of times people get caught up into like, I guess what women want, what men want, everything like that. And they're not understanding that what they're doing on a day to day basis is not helping them. Whatever they're doing on a daily basis is not helping them for their tomorrow. But if anything, it's making it worse. It's making their life harder by not putting in the work now because you can push the work off. You know what I'm saying? I can attest to this. You can push the work off, but the work is going to be there. And if anything, it's going to be harder because you're going to have less energy than when you were when you were younger. And it's going to be harder to achieve those things. It's going to be more difficult because you're more set into reality. You don't really have that imagination of where you can just achieve anything. You don't have that, that no fear as you did when you were before to where it's like you didn't know what could hurt you. You didn't know that you could fail in this. You don't know what failure feels like. So, of course, you think you could do everything. And that's how it's always supposed to be. But, you know, through life, through trial and tribulation, sometimes that kind of chips away at your, you know, idea of how things are supposed to go. So I just I just want you guys to understand and use your youth, use your time wisely, because whatever you do now is going to take you to that casino. Whatever you're doing now is going to take you to that next athlete and that's what i want you to understand is that women want the highest and best so it of course it goes into body of course like you know say so we always want on a primal level you do want the best body that you can attract like everybody just kind of just generally wants that but at the same time you have to understand you have different i would say different daggers you know what i'm saying you have different ways people compete you know what i'm saying so if someone is not able to compete with you on a physical level whether that be you know what I'm saying i guess well however you look however you are whatever like this how much money you make, whatever like that if they're not able to compete with you on that level physically right they have to use different things to compete so 
for example, being in here, if you're at a more socially inclined city to where it's like, you know, you have to compete, you have to make a certain amount, you have to do this, people are going to use their money up front. You know what I mean? And it's just like you want to be well-rounded to where, you know, you're working on your body, but you're also working yourself as a person and you have the opportunity to go to a casino and to, you know, say bet money or bet on your ideas, you know what I'm saying, or the, the gamble, you know, you know what I mean? You, you, you have to be in a good position to be in that gambling section. You know what I'm saying? So I want you guys to understand that women want the highest and best and you have to also work on your skill set. You know what I'm saying? You have to work on how much money you do make because at the end of the day, if you do not, you will have a rocking body. But that girl at night is going to be going to somebody who's going to the casino, betting money, you know what I'm saying? Have the money to blow, have it. To, you know what I'm saying? You just can't focus on one archetype when you're dealing with body game. You just can't focus on one thing and that's just it. You can't just complain about somebody has more money than you. You, you can't just complain about, okay, this guy is this tall or whatever like that. You have to be able to compete. And it's not just, you're not competing with only people who have a body or, you know what I'm saying? You're competing with everything. You know what I'm saying? That's why I want you guys to understand. It's like, I see it in my comments. I see it all the time. And you have to be well-rounded, you guys. You can't just think of things as someone has this, you don't. You have to be a triple threat. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's different like with sports. You don't look at just one attribute when you're looking at an athlete. You're looking at everything that guy can do, his skill set, his age, his health, his vitality, his uh, vigor. You know what I'm saying? You're looking at everything. That's the same thing how you're going to be viewed as well in the world. That's the same way women are going to look at you. It's because they may say, okay, this is a smart guy. He has a lot of money, but he doesn't have the body that I want. Same thing for you. You may be a, you may have a perfect body. You don't have a lot of money, but you don't work at a great place to be to make a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So it's different things people hold on the spectrum that you may not view that way, but they do. And if this is something that you want to build, a, this is a person you want to build a life with, guess what? You got to get with the program, bro. If you want a high caliber person, you want a high caliber woman, high caliber man, guess what? Those interests and likes that they like, you also have to adopt those things or you're going to lose competitively with other people on you know saying, in the market. You know what I'm saying? It's just market value. It's just saying this is the best person right now. So this is the person that I'm going to date or this is the person that is the most disciplined. So I'm going to go with this because stability wise, I want something overall. I just don't want just looks. I don't want just body. I don't want just money. You know what I'm saying? It's just different things. And if a person has all three, Guess what? The person who has just each one, they're not going to win. They have you're dealing with a person who has all three of those, has a triple threat like that, and there's people who exist do not think is people not like that. There are people walking around here, literally as we speak on the strip, who have all three. And that's what I want you guys to understand is that you need to be a triple threat. Do not look and do not comment and say that a guy has this, a guy has this, or a guy doesn't have this. I have this. You need to have all of them. You need to have all of them because it's like if you walk around a person or you're around a person who's a triple threat, you're never going to be able to compete. You're never even going to be in that room because. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You you have to realize that you're competing and you got to be a triple threat because if not, you're not going to be able to compete and you're not going to have a selection. You're not going to have to pick of the litter, bro. It's not just one thing. You want to be a triple threat. You want to be an all-star. You want to hit the board on all three spectrums or all four spectrums, all five. You want to be dangerous in that sense because you know if you walk in those rooms, people are choosing you. They're not, they're not even looking at the conversation. They're not even looking at somebody else because from a logical standpoint, from you just looking, from you just understanding how this person is, they, they're, there's Trump in the competition. They're, they're just that much of a force to be reckoned with that it wouldn't be smart to choose any other person and that's just how i want you guys to think because one spectrum is just not going to get you every everybody on the marketplace you have to be able to do all three or i'm just saying three it's more than that but just at least knock out the three because it's like you want your life to be easier you don't want to have to be forced to make a decision and that's going to be another video because i need to talk about that because i have experience in that forcing 
forced decisions are never a good decision but when you are not on your grind you will be forced to make a decision and your time will be on somebody else's watch so that's the end of the video man i just want to get into that i was just going in you know what I'm saying going in going in because i'm really passionate about this topic but that's the end of the video make sure you like comment subscribe if you have any comments down you can leave them in the comment box below please ask him please you know what i'm saying because you know what i'm saying i ain't trying to argue but you say i love to talk so let's get it but yeah that's the end of the video man thanks so much for watching and i will see you in my next video you know what i'm saying we in vegas so let's go <laughs>